Let's practice our exponent rules. x to the 7th, y to the 8th, z to the 11th over x to the 5th, y to the 12th, z to the 3rd. Since this is written in fractional form, I want to subtract my exponents. The top number has to go first, the bottom number goes second. So with the x's, you will do 7 minus 5. With the y's, you will do 8 minus 12. And with the z's, you will do 11 minus 3. This. 7 minus 5 is 2, so you have x squared. 8 minus 12 is negative 4, so you're going to have y to the negative 4 power. And 11 minus 3 is 8, so you're going to have z to the 8th. But now we have to take care of that negative exponent. We don't like having negative exponents in our problem. We learned before that a negative exponent tells us that it has to change in a sense where it's living. Right now, the y is in the numerator. There's an invisible fraction of being over 1. So I'm going to throw the y to the fourth into the denominator. And my final answer for this problem is x squared z to the eighth over y to the fourth. Let's try it again. Here's your next problem. x to the fifth, y to the ninth, z to the third, over x to the sixth, y, z to the fourth. Think about that y in the denominator. What's his exponent? Oh yeah, when we don't write numbers, it's an invisible 1. So here we go with our subtraction. x to the 5 minus 6, y to the 9 minus 1, because of the invisible 1 in the denominator, and z to the 3 minus 4. Those become x to the negative 1, y to the 8, z to the negative 1. What do we need to do with the negative exponents? Oh yeah, move them downstairs. So I have y to the 8th over x to the 1st and z to the 1st. But wait. I didn't write the 1 in the problem. Should I write the 1's now? No. The final answer is just y to the 8th over xz. The 1's are implied. 